Professor Jones here, and this is going to be a quick lesson about an extension on our rhythm and beats. Okay, so if you guys remember, we talked about the whole note and kind of how if we cut it in half, we get two halves. So it leads to this guy here. We call this a half note, right? And then if we cut that into two, um, it leads to two quarter notes. Let me go like that. If we cut that quarter note in half, it leads to two eighth notes. I always write that wrong. Um, and then if we cut the eighth note in half, it leads to two sixteenth notes. So I think we got that in our head. And I can, you know, just do a quick, um, you know, the whole note cut in half equals to two half notes. Half notes is a two circle with the open if I cut a half note in half, if I cut one of these in half, it leads to two quarter notes, right? If I cut one quarter note in half, it leads to two eighth notes. If I cut one eighth note in half, right, one of these, it leads to two sixteenths. And you guys get visually confused with the sixteenths. One sixteenth, one sixteenth looks like that. It's got the two little flags at the end. So if, if I cut a, an eighth note in half, it leads to two sixteenths. Hold on a second. Okay, so hopefully you understand that. Now, the new concept that I'm adding on to this is we have to be able to, it's like when you have a, uh, when you wear a size eight, we also, some people have a size eight and a half foot. We can't just have an eight and a nine. You gotta have a half in there too. So to be able to reflect more micro measurements of notes, what we're gonna do is, is add a dot. Now, how, let's see how I can do that. So if I add a dot, if I add a dot onto this half note, the dot gives us one half more. So if the half note in say four, four time is like one, two, right? Because before I said it gave us, it, it gave us two quarter notes. Remember that? See here? Then it's going to give us one half. So Instead of two, it's just going to give me one more quarter note. And this is a concept that is going to help you. It might take a minute to kind of get it. <coughs> if you put a dot next to a quarter note, and if you cut the quarter note in half, it gives you two eighth notes, then it's just going to give you one more eighth note. So you're gonna actually have two eighth notes and one more. You're gonna have three eighth notes. So the dot counts for one half of the main the main note. Um, if I put a dot next to this eighth note, then it's gonna give us because if we cut the eighth note into two, we get two sixteenths. So it's gonna give us three sixteenths. You can write it like 
You can write it like together or you can do it like that. I could have also done it, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, yeah. So you could have did it like three sixteens connected. Just not confuse you. This is two line. If I <laughs> cut, if I put a dot next to a sixteen, we didn't talk about thirty second notes, but it would give us three thirty second notes. So that's pretty fast. One, two, three. Thirty second notes have like three flag. I mean, six. Uh, th yeah, thirty second notes have three flag. So it's important for you to understand this concept. If you see a dot next to something, it's gonna give you a half of something. If I put a dot next to a whole note, then it's gonna give me an extra half when I break it down. One, two half notes usually equal a whole, but now it's allowing me to add one more half. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there with that. And we're gonna talk about that a little more and break it down in class. But I hope that this video gave you an introduction to the concept. All right, guys. See you in class. Bye.